Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, I'm going to show you how I made this. Really nice bench for less than 20 quid and I think it only took me about two hours. So I'll just jump into this now. So the plan for this video is to make a really simple bench that I think looks, yeah, it looks pretty good and with using very little tools. So hopefully anyone can make this. I started by cutting 10 lengths at 400. These will be your spacers and make up part of your legs. And then I cut 12 at 340 millimeters. These will pretty much be the main part of your legs. This is what the bench is going to sit on, on the tops of the 340 mils. I made the top of the bench at 1100, but you could go a little bigger. I would recommend going any bigger than 1200 millimeters, just avoid sagging in the wood. But if you wanted to do bigger than that, then all you need to do is make another leg for the middle. And you could probably double the distance without any issues. I've noticed on way too many of my videos that I don't explain a lot of things properly or I completely miss things out. And I think this happens is I will edit the video and then just record what I think as I go. So, so once I've finished editing, I'm going to write a script for what I see and I'm going to try and do it this way. I think it'll work out a lot better. For my actual film and stuff, I'm also going to attempt to like really think about what kind of camera shots I'm doing and, and to be honest this is an attempt for me to get more people to subscribe and speaking of that if you haven't subscribed to this channel and you kind of like this or you want to see more ideas of this seriously please subscribe in the bottom it would help me out a lot so small tip if you're if you guys are having problems cutting straight lines uh, try drawing a straight line across the wood if you take a scrap piece of wood and clamp it down and use this as a guide it will give you straight cuts every time most of the time but you're better using a thicker piece of wood than what i'm using here is this is just what i could find um the only reason you use a thicker bit it's less likely to create a small bevel in the back of the wood as you're cutting but I, I can't be bothered looking for that so small confession to make about this video the wood i'm using is scrap essentially in case you can tell there's a big hole in some of this stuff but it works fine for what i'm doing it was left over from a job we were using it to retain a small roof uh, while we're building the trusses but i know the price for this and it is genuinely was just below 20 pounds or 25 dollars i round it up to cover the cost of the screws and the varnish i used as well i've tried to do this in a way that anyone can make this and really the only thing you need for this project is a handsaw it helps if you have a power drill uh, but again if you don't have this you just need some sandpaper and a strong arm and you can get away with this i spent a bit of time trying to figure out how to have this look as an end product and decided you really need a slot on the outside of each leg to make it look right so fit this together your 1100s will sit on top of the 348 millimeters for the legs that you made there's no right or wrong amount it's what you want i just went for about 440 mil wide and it does feel stable okay put the legs together you want to put glue on the face stick the next one down now if you don't have clamps what i would say is screw through the face and that'll just create almost like another clamp even to be honest if you don't if you have clamps and you can do it that way i'd still recommend doing this screwing technique it will just add another layer of strength to this and if you're using stainless steel screws they're not going to corrode so they're not going to burst or cause any problems also by using this screw technique you're also less likely to get any movement while clamping but if you don't have clamps you just continue to screw this the whole way through at some point sadly enough you're going to have screws sticking out the face if you don't have clamps in but you're never going to notice that and you can always just uh, chuck some uh, wood filler in there and you'll never see it if you do have the clamps i'd recommend stopping before the end three or four once the glue is dry and solid on both legs grab your sander or if you're unlucky not to have one your sheet of sandpaper and get cracking try to get it as flat as possible realistically i would have put this through uh if i was doing this bigger i'd have put it through a jointer and then a thicknesser to make sure all my tops were the same size and it would have been a lot easier and a lot less sanding but you can do it with a belt sander or your hand sander whatever you like uh, once you're all nice and smooth and it's time to put on the top start at one end cover this in glue stand by the rule there's no such thing as too much glue but use common sense i mean don't empty the whole bucket on one bit i found it easier just to put a random one of the other lengths in randomly and that just holds the legs up vertical while you fix the main leg the front end or whatever side you're starting at and um, it stops it falling over and so you can see on the outside ones i actually screwed through the face and that was just to create another point where it's a lot stronger 
I was thinking about how you're going to pick this up, and more than likely you're going to pick it up on the outsides, which would only have two glued faces. So I thought another screw in through one of the sides would just create a lot stronger bond and be a lot better for picking this up. For the rest of them, just cover them in glue and fire it in. You might have to use a little bit of force like I did there with a hammer, but it should all go in, providing you're all using the same lengths, same thickness as a timber, and it'll work perfectly. I left this out to dry and then blasted the ends with the sander off camera because who really wants to watch me sand? So on to the finish. For this, I was kind of annoyed. I had the idea in my head of really making this stand out and go in for like black top of the seat and then the legs were going to be white and it would just really pop out and I thought it looked really good. But I couldn't, f I could find the tin of white outdoor paint. I couldn't find the black for some reason. I think that might have been left at the old house in the move because there wasn't much left on it. And I really couldn't be bothered driving 20 minutes into town to pick up a black tin of paint to drive 20 minutes back. Although there might be a whole tin of paint hidden in that shed and I'll probably find it next week while I start my next project. Uh, but I did find a nice uh, tin of clear varnish. Stuck on three coats of that. Did a light sand in between again and it came out really nice and smooth. So once all this is done, I had to test it and the best way I could think of testing is to jump up and down on it, all 92 kilos of me. And I kind of threw it around a little bit just to make sure the joints wouldn't snap and it, to be honest it seems really solid, I'm quite happy with it. So I've spent £20 on this, $25. It, to be honest it looks like a nice bench, I've seen similar styles to this selling for over £100. You know, I've showed you how to make this with little to no tools. So if you want to save yourself 80 quid, go for it, fire into this, uh, let me know if you try it down in the comments i'd really like to know how other people got on if you've kind of liked the way i've done this video i'd really appreciate letting me know and once again you know uh, subscribe to the channel help me out like this video as always still waiting for a workshop again hope you've enjoyed this thanks so much goodbye